Hello guys, welcome back onto the channel. Gran Turismo as a franchise has a history with delays and a mad release dates. Gran Turismo 5 was probably the worst example of how announcing games too early might make your player base lose faith on anything a company has to say when it comes to dates and plans. And I clearly remember that every time the studio would come forward to announce a new release date, they would be mad with jokes and skepticism. Belief in the Digital's approach with Gran Turismo Sport definitely marked a change in how the company communicates its releases and that went a long way to recover some of the lost faith. That's not to say Gran Turismo Sport wasn't pushed back, but the delay was very minimal compared to the years-long wait of some of the past titles. As a franchise that traditionally releases two games per generation, Gran Turismo Sport also marked the first time the company released only one game over the course of an entire console's lifespan, and some may argue that they stretched the game's life far too thin. And I honestly think we're at a point where the game has grown stale, which is understandable as a considerable part of the studio's resources have been dedicated to the development of Gran Turismo 7 for who knows how long. And given how early they started talking about Gran Turismo 7, many people expect this game to be a launch title for the PS5. I did a video on a leak of sorts that did indeed mention the game as a launch title for the new console, and with most of the launch titles for the PS5 already announced and confirmed, the absence of a mention to Gran Turismo 7 among those titles didn't give the confidence to believe it'll make it in time. However, Sony posted something really interesting earlier today on Twitter, showing just a glimpse of that trailer they released during the first PlayStation 5 showcase a few months ago, with a caption that reads, GT7 coming soon. That's actually the strongest indication of a release date we've got so far, and I believe we're finally gonna learn when the game's coming out over the next few days. Sony does know how important it is for Gran Turismo to meet its target date, and I don't think at this point they would make the mistake of announcing the game too soon, despite it being a possibility regardless. Whether the game will indeed launch alongside the PS5 or not remains to be seen, but given the wording of Sony's tweet, I'd say the worst case scenario would be a launch window release, which isn't that bad. We don't have much longer to wait, and I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as we get confirmation on that. That's all I have for this one, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you on the next one, bye.